Part of my role is helping people prepare for work. During the recruitment process, you can get the best out of people if you consider a competency-based application and recruitment process. Um, a competency-based application form will look at all the behaviours that your organisation require. Um, very often they uh, sit alongside the values of your organisation, but they can be connected to each job role, but they're behaviours that you require. If you get the behaviours right, you can develop the skills. An example of a competency-based question, um, if you consider customer care, um, and you know, you're, you're going into a customer care role, the interviewer may ask you things like, how would you break the ice you know, with someone you've just met? Um, if you've had a problem dealing with a customer's complaint, um, how have you overcome that? A work-based assessment task is often um, part of the recruitment process. Um, and it may involve things like if you if you um, if you use spreadsheets and spreadsheets are required for this role, you may be asked to sit down and uh, create a spreadsheet on a laptop with a formula um, attached to it, so they can actually see what skills you're going to bring to the organisation. The benefits of a competency-based approach is that it will ensure that your organisation uh, gets the right candidate for the right job. Um, it will be a very different application, you know, you will need to look at your values or look at the job roles that's required and what types of behaviours required to do that job uh, because people will be able to give you very fine examples of how they match those, those behaviours. Um, it's, it will bring added value to your organisation because you will have people with the right behaviours. Once you've got the right behaviours, you can then give them the skills required if necessary. Young people will uh, bring a lot to your organisation. They are a necessity. You know, we have to have that balance between younger and older workforce and very ageing workforces um, out there at the moment. Um, you must take into account, um, you know, that they're very technical. You know, they do everything on mobile phones. They will bring a lot to your organisation. That said, they may also need your support with things like communication. Um, you know, with regards to presentation skills or just talking in groups, um, presenting themselves. Um, there's a lot of value between um, appointing young people, but I think the interviewers and, and the organisation um, must be prepared to work with that individual to ensure it's a good partnership.